Hello. Hello. We are back after. Oh, it's been a while. Like a week. It's been like a week. Yeah, we've had a really busy week. This is the 30th anniversary of the ADA being passed today while we're filming. I don't yeah. know. We'll probably get this up tonight. Maybe uh, it'll still be. I don't know. We're having an ADA party later, so. Nope. Um, but this week we've done a lot of really cool speaking engagements, so we've been busy with that. Yes. We spoke to the Target headquarters, which is really fun. Yeah, we uh, spoke at two different disability pride festivals. Yeah. All of these are online engagements, by yeah. the way. We're not traveling. Yeah, we've been all over the place. Traveling right now is socially irresponsible, yes. so we're not doing that. Don't leave your houses. <laughs> but uh, we've been doing speaking engagements. I had an article. Uh, come out for today.com all about what the ADA has done and how much work there is left to be done. Yes. We've just been busy, so yeah. we're excited that we now have the time to make a video for you, even though well, yeah, it's not a great one. We've also been putting this video off because we got this news like almost a week ago now, and it's just been like that facial expression pretty much every day. Just, meh. Just, meh. Meh. No, actually it's been more like, ah. Yeah, well, that, it's, it, that, that's what it was at first, and I think now we've, like, calmed ourselves down enough to film a video yeah. that we feel comfortable putting out for the world to see, because I'm afraid of what we might have said if we had done it right away. Before we get into it, uh, just a real quick, selfless, shameless promo. This is not selfless at all. Selfish. This is selfish. And shameless. I feel like shameless Shane could be your nickname. Shameless Shane? Yeah, classic you. What about selfless Shane? Nope. You once said on video I know. that I am the most selfless yeah. person that you've ever met. Used to be. Oh. Just kidding. Uh, anyway, right now, uh, for a few more days, autographed copies of all the three of my books are available on Laughing at My Nightmare. 100% of the profit goes to our mission to help us provide medical and adaptive equipment to people that live with muscular dystrophy. So, if you want to sign book, Hannah and I will be packing them up all month of August. Yep. I'll be signing all of them. It's going to take forever. Uh, Don't but, say that when you're trying to sell them. Well, there's a disclaimer right on the thing. This is a pre-order. So, yeah. Uh, we don't know exactly when they'll ship, but they'll be in the month of August. They'll ship in August, which is SMA Awareness Month. So, kind of a nice little tie in there. Yeah, buy the book, give it to someone. You can say this is for SMA Awareness Month. Yeah. Great be, present. Become more aware. So, check it out, and uh, it'll be supporting our mission. So, thank you. It's what you all came here for. Time to discuss the horrible news. Bad news. I'm really excited to read the letter that we received from the insurance company. I know I'm skipping ahead. We're going to do that later. But I all week have been giddy to read this letter to you because I have been stewing over it. I think it is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. She's been fuming. I can't. I think every single one of you, well, no, I think 80% of you are going to agree with me. <laughs> As many of you know, I recently got the opportunity to test out a piece of life-changing adaptive technology called the JTO Arm. Yeah, we made a video about this, which you guys can check out to see it in action. But basically, it's a robotic arm that attaches to Shane's wheelchair, and it plugs into his joystick that's already there, and he can control it and like pick up a cup and drink out of it, or open a door, or... Visual, it's a dog, it's an arm. Anything you can do with a uh, human hand arm, Yeah, you can do with this JTO arm. Really, really cool. It's extremely expensive, Yeah, like $50,000. Yeah. And even though it would give me a huge boost in daily function, um, it's so far out of our price range that we're going the insurance route uh, to hopefully get them to pay for the arm. So Shane tested it and applied about a month ago, and we just about a week ago heard back from insurance, and they denied it, as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm sure. I've been denied. My hopes and dreams 
I'm not fresh. Yeah. Let's find out what my why? insurance had to say about why I cannot have this very helpful piece of machinery. Okay. They write, Your request for a robotic arm for your wheelchair cannot be approved. Cannot. We carefully reviewed the information sent by your provider and our eligibility criteria. Your request requires notes that this show, this wheelchair option is used primarily for a medical purpose and that it is the most cost-effective alternative to achieve your goals. However, the information that we received from your provider indicates that you are functioning well. You are managing your activities of daily living. I think that's actually what I'm doing. And is managing that. <laughs> and improving with your treatment. Oh, mm. okay. Yeah, but you should be up and walking. Uh, and that the wheelchair accessory would be used primarily for convenience. Convenience. Mm -hmm. This device, I like how we listed escaping from a fire and accessing water, and that is like convenient to them. Right. This device does not appear to be the most cost-effective solution for improving activities of daily living. Yeah, you know what would be more cost-effective? Hannah doing it for free. <laughs> As she does now. Yeah. I hope you're, uh... I'm fine with that, right? Well, Forever? We know you're fine with that, but... Uh-huh. This arm would be drastically more helpful. Yeah. So, I think, as they said, since, um, you appear to be managing your life well, I think that the only alternative is if maybe you had already died and you were applying. <laughs> I think that's really the only way that insurance would see this as necessary. <laughs> he seems to be alive right now. He's alive, so, so what could we possibly need the arm for? He's managing. Yeah. <laughs> So Yeah, what really frustrates me about this is how they've positioned it as a convenience. A device that would allow me to brush my own teeth, get myself water, get myself food, open a door in case of a fire, lock my door, hand my future child a, a, snack. a snack yeah, or a toy, or and the list goes on and on. How are those things... A convenience. Because someone else could do it for you, I guess. Yeah. You know, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And I don't know if they realize that caregivers... Oh, that needs to not happen. I don't know if they realize that caregivers, if I were to pay a caregiver, are exorbitantly expensive. They're saying that it is more cost-effective, I assume, to hire someone to be with you 24-7, like your arm would be, to get you whatever you want. Yep. If you're paying that person, let's say ten dollars an hour. Let's say we find like a high school student that we yeah. can pay ten dollars an hour. I don't want a high school to student. live with us. <laughs> let's okay, say an adult. <laughs> okay, like when I'm when I'm in school. Right. Let's pretend someone comes here. Let's say twelve hours a day. Okay. We're getting into math. Here we go. All right. <laughs> so that's one hundred twenty dollars a day. Uh huh. So how how many days would you need to have that person until it becomes fifty thousand dollars? I don't know. Like three or four years. Hold on. Maybe I'm gonna do the actual yeah. math. Times 365 is $43,000 a year. 40, so, a little, year. a little over one year. One year of having someone stay with Shane 12 hours a day to get him whatever he wants, like the arm would. In one year, that costs $43,000. You pay them $10 an hour, which good luck. Yeah, and I think the rate has to be 12. Yeah, I think uh, in, Minis in Minneapolis, I think it's 15. Oh, okay. But, so, uh, the arm is much more cost effective. Yeah. Um, but they are going to deny it on the hopes that we won't appeal it. But guess what? We're <laughs> gonna appeal it. Um, we're putting together the appeal right now with the help of my doctors and the JTO company. I, I, none of this really, uh, I don't want the JTO to take blame for this. They've been oh, yeah. really, really helpful um, in helping me put together the materials that I need. This is just submit. insurance. Yeah. And for transparency, it's Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota. Because yeah. I feel like people are gonna ask, that's who we're dealing with and yeah. that is who denied it. So Shane pays for private insurance. Yeah. And that is who is denying it. So we will be appealing, which who knows how long that review will take. Um but we're putting together a pretty comprehensive like appeal. I'm including yeah you know, a letter from me about how I want to go to graduate school and won't be here to sit next to Shane's side uh, every minute of the day to yeah. give him water, which, you know, I think they assume I will be for forever. Yeah. And it's just like, I deserve the ability to be able to do my own stuff if a product exists that will allow me to do that. Yeah. Like, 
I should be able to go into the kitchen and get food or, you know, medicine, let myself out the door. Yeah. You know, these are things that I, I mean, we're using in case of an emergency, but it would be nice for you to be able to step outside of our house yep. whenever you want, just yep. to be outside. Yep. And this JJ alarm is so far from a convenience. It's a, a realistic need that I have and it disheartens me a bit. Insurance is not going to pay for it as of now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a similar thing to them denying wheelchairs because you could survive in a bed. Yeah. Like they don't care about quality of life or like your aspirations. They care about you breathing and your heart beating and yeah. that's about it. Yeah. You know? Is he alive? Is he alive? Well, then that's all we can ask for. <laughs> and I want to be a little bit more than alive. Yeah. I want to thrive. And just to get ahead of the comments here, because on our last video, we got tons of comments, which were really nice from people asking us to start a GoFundMe for the arm. We really appreciate all of those comments. They mean so much to us. But we don't really feel comfortable using our platform to just ask for money. Um, you guys support us by watching our videos or buying Shane's books. Yep. All of that is really important. And we don't really want to just like start a fundraiser for something that we want. So. Um, we may in the future do a fundraiser to get someone else a Jayco arm through Laughing at My Nightmare, but that hasn't, we haven't started that yet, but we're, we're trying to do that. Yeah, I don't, after seeing how uh, life changing it is, we want to give that to someone else. There are a lot of people that don't have the platforms that we have who also could really benefit from the J and yeah. uh, to use our platform to ask for that feels wrong. But we appreciate your comments. Oh wow, just in time. All right, our air conditioner just turned on. It's in a really bad spot. But that is our terrible story. Uh, we hope it has a happy ending, but it does not yet. So we'll let you know. Yeah. Bye. Bye.